Good morning. It is January 8th, and this is your Friday Pastor's Devotional. Uh, last week, Pastor Chris spoke about John the Baptist, the remarkable prophet who was sent to prepare the way for the coming of Jesus. You know, this week, two statements that John the Baptist made have been stuck in my head. These statements are remarkable because they reveal the huge gap between the way people saw John the Baptist and the way John saw himself. You see, John, well, to be honest, he was a big deal. John was the fulfillment of prophecy. Uh, an angel foretold that he was going to be born. In John 3, we read that flocks of people came to, uh, to hear John speak, uh, and they were convicted and they were changed. John was popular. Uh, in fact, even King Herod felt threatened by him. But later in John's ministry, we read in John 3 that John's followers were concerned. You see, people were going to listen to Jesus instead of John. His popularity was in decline. His time was coming to an end. And this is when John made two remarkable statements. He said, I am not the Christ. He must increase and I must decrease. Wow. What does it take to make that kind of a statement? Uh, what self-awareness? What humility? You know, I, th I think it strikes me because I am so invested in my own reputation, my own advancement, my own success. Sometimes it looks like I think I am the Christ. Well, and I must increase. I must win. I, I must get my way. And if I don't, then, then all is lost. You know, if I believe that, or if I even act in that way, might it not be a sign that I really am forgetting who is the Christ? And that like John the Baptist, my role is he must increase and I must decrease. Like John the Baptist, my job, our job, is to point people to Christ John knew that, and he did not forget it when the crowds went out to listen to him. I am here to point people to Christ. But if my advancement appears more important than him and his way, I may increase, but he is diminished. If my political beliefs appear deeper and more significant than him and his way, I may win an argument or even an election, but does he increase? You know, you may say, hey, that's, that's John the Baptist. He was unique. You know, he was literally uh, preparing a way for a literal appearance of Christ. Uh, but if you think that, I, I'd like to offer, well, Abraham, one man that was not chosen because he was great or powerful or perfect, but God chose to make him a great nation. I, I'd like to give you Moses, who when he tried to rescue his people with violence, he ended up in exile. But when he came as a humble messenger from God, God redeemed his people. I'd give you David, the shepherd. Well, the shepherd who didn't really look the part. But God exalted him to be king in his time. Or even Jesus, who came to people looking for a political savior, but was instead the savior that they truly needed. Again and again, we see, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. You know, 2021 is here. Uh, may it be a year where he must increase, and I must decrease.